Good morning friends. This is Dr. Praveen, the Kheti Vadiwala. और आज हम बात करेंगे जो हाइड्रोपोनिक्स में सबसे महत्वपूर्ण एस्पेक्ट होता है द फर्टिलाइजर मैनेजमेंट द फर्टिलाइजर मैनेजमेंट इज नॉट ओनली इंपॉर्टेंट इन हाइड्रोपोनिक इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट इन एनी क्रॉप प्रोडक्शन सिस्टम बट वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू यूज दिस फर्टिलाइजर इन हाइड्रोपोनिक्स It is very clear that fertilizers are being manufactured or designed considering the soil as a end user, and soil is a, a dynamic body, and there is a different kind of a reaction happening the moment you apply your fertilizer. sometime it becomes unavailable so considering that fertilizer companies they put their effort and come up with chelated form of a nutrients these are basically for a micronutrients as they invested good amount of money and the cost of this chelated nutrient is always higher than the normal fertilizer तो अगेन आई एम कमिंग बैक वही बात फिर से कि जो फर्टिलाइजर की डिजाइनिंग हुई है वो डिजाइनिंग हुई है आपकी मिट्टी को ध्यान में रखते हुए कंसिडरिंग द सॉइल वेयर दीज फर्टिलाइजर गोइंग टू बी यूज सो द क्वेश्चन कम्स वेदर दीज फर्टिलाइजर्स आर इक्वली गुड फॉर हाइड्रोपोनिक्स द चिलेटेड फर्टिलाइजर or there is a different altogether different uh, requirement of this hydroponic growing system so let's try to understand first how this chelated fertilizers work in soil and the basis on which these fertilizers are being developed so hame ye janne na bahut zaruri hai ki in fertilizers ka जो फायदा है चिलेटेड फर्टिलाइजर का जो फायदा है वह फायदा क्या केवल मिट्टी तक ही सीमित है या ये हाइड्रोपोनिक खेती में भी उतना ही इम्पॉर्टेंट है सो लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड हाउ दिस चिलेटेड फॉर्म्स ऑफ फर्टिलाइजर वर्क व्हेन वी अप्लाई फर्टिलाइजर इन सॉइल देयर आर रिएक्शन हैपन so all the positive or a cat ions they attract the anion and become a fix and they are not available for our root development system so the chelated technology provided an a, a coat over all the ionic form of fertilizer so they are free from fixing in the soil and they are slowly available for the crop so the root absorb these nutrients slowly and the moment the availability enhances the root development enhances so by this mechanism the chelated form of fertilizers are having advantage over the normal fertilizers so in soil they are good there are different fertilizers chelated fertilizers are available in the market so in traditional farming any of these fertilizers as a chelated form can be used for supplying our micronutrient so these are the products which is we considered for the zinc so apart from these chelated fertilizers we also have a some better source of a zinc with a these sources include lab grade chemicals with a very high purity and there are different fertilizers available which are a water soluble and can be used for for uh, supplying a particular micronutrient in hydroponic against this chelated source of pretty costly nutrient though we need to take care so coming back to our question whether the use of chelated source of a nutrients are recommended or beneficial in our hydroponic growing system so 
you have seen the reaction why these chelated source of fertilizers are good for the soil but in a hydroponic system there is there is a very little chances of getting these nutrient fixed because there's no uh, sources of other nutrient or the soil media so these these sources of fertilizers are or a nutrient are easily available in hydroponic growing system so if there's chances of a fixation of these nutrient in hydroponic growing system is a very little so why to go for a costly proposition the minimum uh, we consider the products the minimum uh, cost per gram of a nutrient is a, is is around 5 rupees per gram of a nutrient as compared to the lab grade chemical it is only 1 rupees so every grower need to be more efficient in their growing system so considering that these fertilizers are designed with their application in soil these fertilizers are good for traditional farming but if you are really looking for going growing your crop in a hydroponic growing system so there is a possibility that you can use a lab grade chemical which is much cheaper as compared to the chelated form of a nutrient or even you can try the other source of water soluble fertilizers which are not chelated one so ultimate objective is to reduce the cost and increase the profitability so let's summarize this whole whole uh, talk there are different sources of fertilizers which are efficient in traditional farming the soil like one of the good example and a good innovation for the traditional farming is the chelated fertilizers which is a little costlier but in soil they, their efficiency is a much higher and because of that the cost per unit of a nutrient is lower in soil but when we come consider or we come for a hydroponic farming or a growing technique then in that case the chances of a reaction and fixation of these nutrients are pretty limited so it is advisable to minimize the cost of fertilizer we may consider the use of a lab grade chemical with a very high concentration but you need to calibrate the quantity you cannot apply the same quantity as the 12% of a chelated uh, a micronutrient like zinc and lab grid. Your estimation or your design or fertilizer designing in hydroponics required a specific quantity of a nutrient, not the fertilizer. So you may refer my uh, video of a fertilizer recipe and you can design and you can include some of these lab grade of a nutrient or a micronutrient for your production system and see whether it is performing in the same way at a lower cost or you have to continue with the chelated fertilizer so i'll sign off here only with my Good wishes all to all the hydroponic growers and I'll be available for sharing any of the knowledge what I acquired over a period of a time. Mm -hmm. So keep doing your hydroponic, keep experimenting and evolving for some better way of a growing crop. Thank you. Bye bye.